Hi everybody, my name is David and today I'm going to teach you how to take a groove agent from this to this. In just a minute. So there are many reasons why you would want to transfer your MIDI into audio, but the most compelling reasons that I could think of are easier editing and easier mixing. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. I'm gonna show you how to do the whole drum set into audio. And I don't typically go that far. Most of the time I'll be using a snare on a separate out and then you know applying the reverb for the whole project to that snare or the overheads or something like that. And I don't usually go full bore, whole drum set into audio. But once you learn how to do the whole drum set into audio, you'll know how to do bits and pieces, which is what I typically do more often. So I'm gonna start from scratch and we'll just add an instrument track of Groove Agent SE because I just wanna show you how to do this from start to finish. And we'll edit our instrument, I'll add a preset. I'll just add this one because it's the one I was using before. I'm just gonna paste in the MIDI from before because I wrote this MIDI out not because it's a dope beat or anything, but because it uses every single drum, whether it's kick, snare, hi-hat, cymbals, percussion, toms, room and overhead. So you'll be able to see the waveforms of them when I transfer them to audio. Uh, so what we want to do, or well, we can play it back real quick. What I want to do is key you into the fact that Groove Agent has a fantastic mixer, and that's why I don't usually use this full technique most of the time. But if you want to use the send effects uh, here, the aux effects, let's say you want to use a reverb, you're stuck with using... Cubase's reverb for Groove Agent, and you can't use an outside reverb. So like, let's say you have a track and you have vocals and that's being sent to a reverb bus and you want to send the snare to a similar reverb bus to sort of maintain the spatial feel of the whole track. You can't really do that from within Groove Agent. So it's best to export that as audio and then go from there and then you can do whatever you want with it. So the way that you export the whole kit as audio is here in the agent tab of the mixer, uh, you start assigning outputs. And so these outputs get assigned two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I've used an instrument track, so this is different. If you have a rack, they'll show up down here in the audio folder, but uh, with an instrument track, they'll only show up in the mixer when you do this. Groove Agent SE, you activate the outputs and you click on them. And that's this button here. So I'll zoom in so you can see that. And then once you've activated the outputs, they'll appear in your mixer. Boom, there they are. So if I play that piece, But unfortunately, you don't get to see them as if they were a waveform. But if you wanted to edit them just in the mixer, you could just go from here. You know that out two is kick, out three is snare, hi-hat, and you could just go down and label them and just start mixing them like that. But if you want them to be waveforms in your linear editor here, the edit window, you'll need to do this little trick. You'll need to start by adding eight group tracks count eight stereo, we'll call them GA for Groove Agent. And once you can see them, you can relabel them. And I've done this once before, but uh, we'll call them kick, snare, hat, tom, cymbal, uh, percussion, overhead. Oh, wait, room is before overhead. Room and overhead. All right, and we'll just delete these group tracks from earlier so that nobody gets confused. Okay, so then we go back to our outs and we route those outs to where they belong. So stereo out instead, it goes to kick. 
This goes to Snare. This goes to Hi-Hat. This goes to Toms. Cymbals. Percussion. Room. And overhead. And we can hide these now. And then once we have the group tracks, we can route those group tracks into audio tracks of the same name. So we'll add audio tracks, <clears throat> stereo, eight of them. Add, and we'll call those kick, snare, hat, tom, symbol, perk, room, and overhead. And let me just make those a little different in size and color so we don't get confused. And we'll add our color thing. We'll make them green or something. And we go through and change the routing. This the routing instead of stereo in, kick will come from kick, snare will come from snare, and we just go through and do the click fest. Ah. And then we're ready to record. So we just hit record. And you have the drums that you've written here in audio. So you can kill your group tracks. You can mute Groove Agent now because it exists in audio. And you can come into the mix rack here and mix them as if you would uh, an acoustic drum set that you recorded. So this is very powerful for people who are so used to mixing audio waveforms, seeing the audio waveforms, playing with them in the real mixer. People who don't want to use the Groove Agent mixer, which I understand it's not the same as Cubase's whole mix console. And it's also good practice for people who have grown up in the digital era and have done nothing but use sample drums to get audio waveforms and go from there. So if you wanted to do that and practice mixing, this was a preset. And here in Groove Agent, they apply equalization, compression. So if we took all of these and just went through and took this all off, And then we reset the levels of the drum set to Unity just by control clicking. We could re-record all these tracks. And we'll have the original samples. They won't just be, uh, you know, there's no processing done in Groove Agent. You could do 100% of the processing here in Cubase in the project window and your mix console like you're used to. So uh, I hope you found this useful. If you did, feel free to like or subscribe and have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye.